There we go. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... It's a Mike Lieutenant Drake here at your service. <laughs> as well as Glacier Boy, who is over here, just back through the portal. And yeah, we've done a bit of work since last time. We've gotten more storage over this way. Uh, let me actually record anything here for anyone else to, uh, to pick up. And yeah, we've set up some more portals and we've sort of prepared the motor boss arena. As in, uh, we cleared out the golems that were lurking around there. I have actually figured out how to fight one variant of them, since there's two variants, apparently. One with spike arms and others with, well, more bol normal boulder arms. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know there were two variants to this day. But again, when you notice a golem and know how hard they are to fight, you focus more on trying to run or survive. Yeah, and the spike ones are actually pretty easy once you figure out how to uh, well, properly block them. Okay. Also, there's something else we've done since last time. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the audience might be able to hear them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Rakir has also been busy with his own stuff, of, uh, with his own side of things. For one, is completing the wall around us, or mostly completing. And yeah. <laughs> We got chicks and chickens and just a freaking fuck ton of them. <laughs> yeah, okay. apparently more eggs will hatch for. Oh bloody hell! I did. I did apparently, I did just enough for it to just yeah breed like mad. And yeah, the roof is on top to prevent bats from being able to get in. Since yeah. those can raid us now that we've actually gone to the forest and such, or at least uh, on, after we've defeated Modem. Uh, when we kill, we enter the cave and kill our first bat, that's when you can get rat bait. Uh, bat bait. <laughs> bat rat raids. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, rat raids would be something. Yeah, however, bats, are, bats will die from one hit. Problem is, they fly. Yeah, they're dodgy little fuckers. Yeah, okay. and this means all your farm animals may be unable to defend against them. And yeah, chickens, boars are easy victims. Wolves might be able to kill them if they land low, fly low enough. Maybe even boars, but unlikely. And loxes, if they fly low enough for a stomp or bite, maybe, but problem is. The locks would be such a friends that they may actually break the stable. Yeah. Okay, I see you've renovated yeah. this place a bit. Or the, the broken uh, cabin. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, I thought that... Uh, well, also, we've found us a fuck ton of silver all over the place. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> a golem came to intrude on our work over here. We've got a few more holes over there. Yeah, might as well scratch this one off. Wait, where did he go? Yeah, I went to sh yeah, I went to the motor yeah, place for the moment. Oh right. Wrong button. Uh, oh glacier, we should have uh, bought some arrows in there and in the tower in one of the boxes as well. Yeah, I should probably swap out from just flint head arrows. But, yeah, I'll save those for everything else, basically. And, yeah, we've got some big holes right over here, past this bit. And apparently, yeah, just digging out underneath this... Uh, digging, the, digging out the entirety of the silver vein so that it's not touching any ground at all, and then breaking a part of it will actually cause the entire thing to explode. So that is actually a very useful bit to know, so you don't have to painfully excavate every little bit of it that remains. Yeah, like, I think, here's the thing. In some point, mining silver is easier than copper. But you can sort of do it with copper, probably we stay in the air until you smash it. Just like with silver. Probably is, copper is so much more massive. Yeah. <laughs> no, that silver, probably not would so much. Be, uh, 
in a way it probably would be easier to do it that way <clears throat> yeah do many people do that I, I do it partially for good luck to have a good shot so actually dig probably under the copper you basically uh, yeah. end up digging out the lower half, then get rid of the top by it, having it fall. However, there is one thing that makes zero slightly harder than copper. And that's the weight. Okay. Like, it's... you will not be able to run with one stack full of zero. You, good luck, you, you won't be able to, to, not even with the best belt. Yeah. Okay. Should we go grab the good food then? And yeah. uh, go hunting? Yeah, I have some... Uh, wait, hunting? Yeah, for motor. Oh, right. In this box, I have the... Yeah. Food we need. Like... Let's see, I'm gonna... Take uh, some stack there. There you go. Ice cream, wolf kebab, and sausages. Okay, I still have some wolf skewers. We also have more in here, it seems. Oh, yeah, I made, I made up quite a few. <laughs> and Glacier Boy, okay. you go ahead and grab some ice cream and such. Okay, Since, I'll put yeah, these in storage. Just in the food and onions. And. Yeah, it's worth as a good boss fight food. It may last longer. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, the screaming will know. probably start when we start with the boss. Okay. Yeah, one thing you should do before we activate the boss is make sure there's no golems. Yeah. And new, and new storms. For well, good luck hitting her in a storm. Okay, the ice cream does last five minutes more. Uh, let's see then. I'll probably well, funny, take two of the I... black soup as well then for health. Yeah. Normally I'd rather do ice cream. Unless we boss fight, but since we have the drop rate thingy, we will get in so much more ice gland and so much great wolf ice that it's kind of worth making. Okay. Let me grab some of this because I saw that one of the torches was out. Then we should make sure that we have our. Uh, oh, I think Glacier Bar already relit that one. Okay. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's make sure our resting buff is maxed out, and well, then we go, uh, <laughs> then we go make the Drake some orphans. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> this this will be the first time that I've personally fought her, so that'll definitely be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, we need Which to find one? the father as well for that glacier boy. Okay, uh, we need to bring the eggs. Everyone just wants to grab one egg each. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Probably a bit early on this, but I will. Well, actually, it. something happened to me some days ago when I played Valheim. Oh? Meta! Sea serpent, and I killed it. We just flint crows. <laughs> okay. But it died. I did not have a poo. It died in water near the beach. From this, I discovered too late that the beach I was went near was a bit deep. <laughs> and it dropped the head. Uh, okay, that would have been a nice trophy. Okay, everyone yeah, have an egg with least. them? What? Everyone have an egg with them? Oh, where's the eggs? In the box in the courtyard. <laughs> oh, right. It has been a while, so we have been delayed two weeks. Yep. Right, I got one egg. Okay, Glacier Boy should have one. Yep. Okay. 
That's one egg. Let me look around a bit for if there are any nearby golems. There are some wolves, but those are no yeah. problem. Last time we did the boss fight with me and Glacier Boy uh, alone with uh, well with two other friends. We had Great. golems, two golems joining in the fight. It was almost easy until the golems joined in. And it was just chaos, but we we did it. Okay. Of course, a freaking break starts to be annoying. And yeah, I also built a massive fuck off staircase just from the bottom of the mountain up to here. Yeah, get ready to say goodbye to the stairs. Yeah, like it just goes all the way up. And yeah, if you go too fast down it, you take fall damage. <laughs> hey, I haven't healed up fully yet, apparently. Okay, I probably should do the uh, the easier staircase some other time. Just do something like this, but <laughs> it was a good first shot. And it's becoming night. Uh, guess oh. we'll have to quickly turn back then. Yeah, I will keep the egg on me. So we had that ready for... for sure, if we get told when you fight her, but... I don't want really to imagine how drunk it gets when you fight her at night. Yeah, when the werewolves and such come out. Oh, uh, yeah. Though they haven't proven to be that difficult. Yeah, what? but still, st one or two star wolves come at you in the middle of a boss fight. Yeah. I, I, I actually uh, got uh, a wolf pack with a werewolf to fight one of the golems, and they actually beat it. Which is surprising, but usually they get wrecked. I, I did weaken it, though, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Just gotta pass the night, and yeah, then it's time to go fight that thing. And well, with half of the half of the area being just a sheer cliff, that's going to be interesting. Uh, Glazer, good boy, you coming? Uh, might DC what? Uh, oh, <laughs> he just disconnected right there and then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we, we will wait for them. Or not. Okay. <laughs> okay, from what I saw, you were... Okay, yeah, you were, you were rubber banding there, it seemed, then. Yeah, for okay. me as well. But I did not see them get up either. Yeah, I saw them on the map being somewhere else. Oh, okay. Great. Okay, we, we, we need to go to the little house with a campfire and dry up for... We won't, don't want any debuff, and being with is a debuff. Yeah. It drains stamina, actually. No, it's le it lessens the stamina region, if I remember correctly, unless they change that. Uh, no, it, it uh, lessens the region, which is still a yeah. horrible thing. <laughs> Okay. And also, people, if you're in like forest and it rains and you run into the mountains and you're wet, don't. Yeah, you're going to freeze to death then. There yeah, actually was the someone in the news must. recently, some idiot who, uh, I, I think they were drunk, so that explains a part of it, but the only thing they were wearing as they were going for a hike was a fucking hoodie. Oh, for love of. And I think the article didn't say if they actually wore anything else other than that, so I'm presuming they were naked, except for the hoodie. Oh god. But yeah, the reason I'm saying this is because if you don't, you have a 4k view, we get cold or very cold when you're wet and at it's night without a proper coat, like you need wool for locks. But if you go to the mountains, when being wet, yeah, hypothermia. Yeah. And I think they actually harm you more. Okay, ready when you are. All right. Three, two, one. Run away! Run away! <laughs> okay, is he spawning up there?
I hit her! Okay. Oh yeah, we'll drop that <laughs> None of those hit me. Now you see why I don't want golems and wolves in this fight? Yep, that definitely hit. Oh! Melee! Melee! For those brave enough. More smart enough to go for her ass instead of her face. Uh, guys, I just remember something. What? They forgot to upgrade the gears fully. I think yeah, we upgraded a good amount still. Except for Glacier Boy. Uh, let's pray for the best. <laughs> and I, I think, I think shielding actually worked there for a bit. Okay. Just on top of me. A frost resistant oh. potions. Uh, no, no, no. I haven't. I would only use them once. I'm not sure you actually need them. You, you need them if you don't have warm clothes. Me that. Because you use them until you can get wolf uh, cape and wolf armor. Also, let me use this. That will hopefully you help somewhat. I'm, I'm liking the I music have a from this. As well, but I'll be probably wait by sharing my blessing with Farin. Okay, I'll deal with the Drake. Can we break these? Yes, we can. What? Really? We change arrow to obsidian for just pure piercing. <laughs> okay, I'm managing to time these blocks really well. <laughs> Okay, this, this is actually a decently tough fight. Like, all the other bosses so far have basically been cakewalks, in part due to our equipment. Also, uh, I think she's hugging me. Yeah, it happened to me earlier. Well, don't mind me if I abuse that. Ow. They're still massive. <laughs> I'm just getting real lucky with my blocks. Get down here, you oversized bats. I'm surprised the bridge is, the, the stairs are still there. What the heck? <laughs> Gaily chicken. <laughs> oh, they have broken quite a bit around here. Uh, they're going for that portal over there with the silver, it seems. She actually somehow dug up silver. Probably is most of that silver may have fallen through the world. Okay, I can't tell if most of this damage blocking is just my armor or if I'm actually managing to shield or block some of these attacks of hers. Uh, a good seal shield should be able to block it, at least decently. Um, the potion is going to help a lot during this as well, so I should actually use them. Let's see, I will use a blessing for you all guys. Yeah, okay, I believe that one's mostly oh. for... Oh, actually, does that regen stamina faster? I know it at the very least reduces running uh, consumption. Running stamina consumption. No, they have, she broke some obsidian for us. How nice. <laughs> You gotta keep an eye on where I'm running. I think I poked her eye out with this shot there. Yeah, but I think you can see the issue why she, I consider her a bit harder since... Unlike the other bosses, terrain yeah. might be your biggest enemy here and the other mobs joining in. Yeah, especially freaking golems. Plus, there's also the fact that, well, she's actually plays it somewhat smart as a flyer by staying up in the air most of the time. 
and most people are probably a lot more built towards melee combat. Oh, yep, yeah, make it, she does hit hard. <laughs> Being hugged again, it seems. Yeah, my weapon is not effective against her. Is, is all our weapons grey against her? Uh, my hammer is, yes. Not? Okay. Glacier Boy is doing normal damage. I guess axes and sword works. And maybe pierce, just not blunt. Oh yeah, Glacier Boy, it's your time to shine! Yep, and of course she stops right as that would land. Okay, just gotta keep this up for a while longer. But I think we are... <laughs> I think we are going to win this. Luckily, yeah. there's no time limit or such, like in some other games. Uh, yes, sort of is, but it will need to be a, very, a few in-game days. And usually you don't have a fight lasting that long. Yeah. And they also will need, they will heal during that time if you're away from them too long. to save another stam of a potion for when she lands the next time. Actually, never mind that. So, yep, there we go. <laughs> Mother is in tears, oh poor thing. <laughs> I think Glacier Boy got killed by a wolf in the aftermath. <laughs> And we threw the wolf off the cliff for that. <laughs> okay, Actually, that's just perfect anticlimax on that. <laughs> I'm sure that's anticlimax in all of uh, the mountain give, give them the finger. <laughs> okay. We're over by your grave protecting it, Glacier Boy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the wolf comes uh, in at the last second. Um, he'll come over here. Yep. This is really weird here. <laughs> the fact that the stairs are completely untouched. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Not, no damage. I uh, was sure that this will be a victim in this fight. And the only victims were Motor and <laughs> Glacier Boy's dignity. <laughs> and a few obsidian stones and rock boulders. Okay, but we've got her her, tro her trophy now, and the dragon tears. tears for making the artisan's table. Yep, and we can use her head to f do something you've probably been wanting for a lot, long time. Black metal. Uh, that too, but also easier time sailing. Yeah. Actually got a hit there. And that was the poison taking it out. Taking it, taking it out. <laughs> okay. Well, we could definitely repeat that in the future to have another decorative head. Yeah, that's just a normal yeah, stone. I hope we can take heads from map to map, but again, I am worried that it could somehow break. The Someone did a challenge of doing all the bosses in reverse. Okay. Which I'm unsure how. Uh, well, it probably is possible, just... They're actually... How the heck do you do that? You... They, they, they must have done that before, after they got an all here for... Probably. Okay. 
Just going to yeah. grab some more obsidian and then we can, well, go back and start building with the new things. Yeah, I, I, I'm surprised that we didn't have more wrecked things. Like, yes, yeah, sure, some balls have holes here and there, but... Normally, when people fight uh, her, it's way more... Okay, <laughs> um, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky! Okay, that's a spike one, I can take that. But why am I punching the air? What the heck is punching gonna do? There we go. Just gotta find the right parry moments. Not parry the platypus, parry the golem. Yep, someone else got the block and parry there. Yep. I don't think really I enough did twice. There's... Every attack of theirs sounds like it hits metal or is parried. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. There we go. Oh, yeah, now I see. Yeah, this one has a different attack arm than the yep. others I'm used to. Again, I have not no to do to. I'm basically trying to fight it all running away. <laughs> yeah. The glacier boy, the mountain shall know my fury. <laughs> and, oh, we didn't get a trophy. They have a very nice trophy. Okay, I've not found any of those, I think. I, I have one on my map, but Glacier Boy was there with me when we found it. It's a very oh. big crystal. Okay. Well, let's All go right. hang motor out to dry at the circle. Yeah, to the circle, boys. Let's see, one stack of obsidian. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, also, Drakir, something of an idea. Uh, there's some other people I somewhat I sometimes play multiplayer games with, and I put forward to maybe do Valheim sometimes. But the thing is, they're typically online when you're already asleep. So, w would you be up for being yeah, for making yeah, building a, lo a lodge uh, for that? Hmm. You could basically experiment on the off time with that. I'm not against that. Yeah, yeah, I'm even on, uh, now and then pondering on how in to improve this design. Says I think I will at some point make a bigger version of this in the future. With more stone walls on the bottom so we can have a proper walled upper floor and all. Okay. But then we try and design it so it has in mind with multiple hearthstone and stone oven. I'll, I'll have to see what with to them do? if they want to uh, make use of advanced furniture stuff already from the start or only what we have available. Well, when we uh, what we have access to at the time, then. Uh, wait, wait, but, but I guess you want me to build a house for them uh, basically since well they would be mostly playing you know, or they and us would be mostly playing when you would be asleep hmm. all right i can i can do that however i noticed a small flaw with your idea here and that be aren't you supposed to sl fix your sleep cycle true but it wouldn't be that uh, extremely late or early, Everybody depending on the reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing agreed on yet on to try it, but just uh, if if you'd be interested in building for that, I I will be. Then I could probably try and do some good longhouse as such for. I do try occasionally think of a idea that's good for a small build. For several people or something. This one is move. It's good. It's roomy. And we don't have to to have the beds in dining area in the same damn room, clustered to the half. Yes, we also have them on the up, on the floor and all that. Yeah, obsidian goes just with the normal stones, uh, Glacier Boy. Yeah, I yeah we are actually fixing our inventory. Should probably uh, go with you here and see uh, your offering. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm already at the circle. And yeah, two more remaining. The lich and the, the bug. What, or what was it again? Uh, the queen. The first hmm. boss with her own dungeon boss arena. Well, it's the mayor one. The are there are three others, mine, mean the bosses that have their own arenas. Okay. And apparently the bone mass actually thanks you for slaying it. Yeah, he's the only one that does it. The people do wonder why. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably less the bone mass itself, but more, well, the corpses that it's made out of. Possible. He has an open world arena like all the other bosses, so I'm sure that I'm not sure that counts for your sure he, he unlike the other one. No, even the elder has some pillars. Just unlike the elder, the, his pillars can break. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you're done the offering already? Uh, not yet. I'm waiting for you two on that. All right. I'll come over. Are you coming, uh, Glacier Boy? Oof. I should put on another. I should put on a sweater. <clears throat> I just noticed it's frosty outside. I have my window slightly open. The only thing I'm wearing is headphones and pants. I forgot to put on my shirt. And I'm not cold. Or you're just that cold that you don't notice that you're cold, which is Maybe. a, si a sign of hyperthermia. I've always been more, very resistant to cold, but to heat, however, I'm very weak against. So there is a uh, trade off. Like, I handle my cold extremely well, just not heat. Okay, this so you're a frost dwarf. I beg your pardon. <laughs> but resistant to heat, resistant to cold, but vulnerable to heat. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Sacrifice! 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 <laughs> Here we go. And let's get that power, yeah. <laughs> okay, that means that the next stop is the planes. Yeah, we have a plane we can now finally investigate. We were, we were to make a farm up there. It might not have the boss we have, but it's near Hildur. And actually, I see now Nihilo be between the swamp and the mountain. A mountain that could have silver as well. And there's even no swamp there, too. Yep. And we haven't like, fully explored the plane up there either. Alright. So, yeah, we can go to Hildur, make a base there in preparation for the next boss, since we're gonna need flax and barley. Yep. And all us three together to try and make that farmhouse probably needed. Uh, definitely, because yeah, we had some flax left over from the, one of the previous worlds, but that got used up in upgrading stuff. Yeah, and thank you for that, Glacier Boy. Fire resistant version 2. Uh, were these bushes already here? The two bushes in the middle of the road. I thought we cleaned that up. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a new path. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, now, now I'm reminded of that uh, old video where uh, people are just f f following a path that someone has dug through the snow, but it's just a maze. Oh, that's mean. And someone actually had a, in my opinion, rather stupid idea to navigate in a fully hardcore world without a map. And that's by making a pathway everywhere you go. There's so much wrong with that idea. 
It sounds smart at first, but when you think about it, it's actually dumb. Yeah. Okay. You end up having so many pathways accidentally that you may end up getting lost. Yeah, you could uh, probably I'm just... sure if you would yeah. like that as well. You could probably use signage a lot for that, but then you would need a map just to know what is next and what um, <laughs> place and such. Yeah, but then you're suddenly in a situation of why even remove the map to begin with if you're gonna need trying to make a map anyway. <laughs> so there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't die. We kind of need you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what just happened. Um, my body tried to burp or something in the middle of speech. Let's see. You dream you're relying on your back in, the back in the meadow, gazing upward at the clouds. Your name is nothing. Your mind is free of thought and um, about well, something more. Okay. Yep, now oh. eat some food. I'm going to put... Actually, no, I'm going to keep most of this food on me. Because, yeah, well, we're going to the plains. Yeah, we're going to the plains and scout for good spots. I think I have an idea, sort of on the map, just, again, difference between looking at the map and seeing the area with your own eyes. Yeah. Um... I think before we go, though, we should probably make the artisan's table, so we at least have that. So yeah, let's make that uh, table. Okay, just woods and dragon tears. Yep. I'm going to put it down over here for the moment. We can move it somewhere else another time. Yeah, we can make it upstairs or something. And let's see, black uh, metal missiles, wooden missiles. Uh, Those are for the ballistas, I think. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, either I've completely forgotten or I didn't even know that ballistas are a thing. Yeah, they finally sort of fixed them. The problem is, you can't them shoot everything, including you, or tell them to shoot something specific by giving them a trophy. This means that we only shoot that thing. Okay. This is actually kind of good for otherwise you would waste a lot of ammo. Let's so see, we need one more a... fine woods. So yeah, if you have a base in Black Forest, just tell it to only shoot trolls. Yeah. Sounds, yeah, trolls are the most likely danger. Uh, However, they let's... also have a weakness. They have only a certain angle they can look up. So if you have a, a, a yowl getting too close from too high, it will not be able to shoot it at all. Okay. So you would end up having to make the damn tower for it extremely high. I need two more iron for the blast furnace and one more fine woods. Uh, I should be able to fix that. Okay, put the rest of that away. Let's see, what else will we be able to build? The windmill. Spin and the spinning wheel. That will need oh, yeah, another we need 20. need to turn the flax into linen. Okay. Oops. Beyond that... Uh, Almost yeah, no broke either. a beehive. <laughs> okay. Now, once we have some of these built, we could just grab whatever wood we have and maybe use some stone and the stone cutter and go build an outpost at the plains. Yeah, and I, I, I just remember, we, we never cleaned up the lo tree logs over there that you fell. <laughs> so we have some materials to go and grab from there. Yeah. Also, since we have a full set of troll armor over here, which should be upgraded to the max, I think. What you planning? Uh, let's see, four parts. Okay, then the cape is missing, or fell somewhere. Uh, since the only place to actually get flax and linen, or flax and barley, is the uh, freaking is the villages. 
it might be actually smart to try and sneak in and grab some, since, well, a fight with the whole village is a bit of a bad idea. Yes, we certainly not only need to upgrade our armor fully, but the over three people. True. So, hmm, could be that two of us distract and one of us grabs. Yeah. Well, at least we put them out and carefully exterminate them before we enter the village. Also, you need to find wood. Uh, yes, please. Here you go. Okay. Uh, I'll plunk it down. Oh, I put away the stone that I need. There. Okay, I'll plunk it down in the middle of the courtyard for the moment. And we can reposition it later. Probably in place of one of the smelters over here. But yeah, with yeah, that, the, we'll finally be able to smelt most of the black metal. We should move out one of the kilns. Mm. So here's the thing. If we keep making coal, even if we're not smelting iron and all the metals, do we have a steady coal supply anyway? And we could probably also just move everything over into this corner. That's it. We move the, the coal, the kilns over there and keep the um, smelting things in here. For, okay. Let's be honest. These kilns take so much space. And I put this thing the completely wrong way. Yeah, unless it's holes for filling and reloading is on the same side, unlike the other smelters. Okay, let's put you down like that for the moment. Actually, when I look at it, we can move the smelters against the wooden wall or over here, then put the biggest smelter closer to the wooden wall. Okay. Put some black metal scraps in there. And let's see. Windmill, woods. No, what? I'll find the spinning wheel is iron nails and leather scraps. We should have plenty of those. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there. Okay. Just a bit more than we need, so we'll probably have to make more of those later. Five scraps. Probably to make the belt of sorts. Okay. And let's actually put this one... What the heck have you done? What? This is the drop hole. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, no more inventory. Uh, drop those. Uh... I'll just put it up outside for the moment then. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do this for you. Let me do this for you. Come over here. Now your space here. Okay, and no stamina to actually move forward, so we're going to drop the iron for a sec. Okay. There we go. Alright. Actually, that's a good angle. Let's see, can get rid of the other iron. Okay. Pine wood away. Okay. Then all it needs is coal, but I think we just ran out of that. Uh, or, nope. Wait, there's a whole stack here. Yeah, we should have a whole stack. But as I said, as long as we remember to always make make more coal, it should be fine. Oh, there's okay. more silver in here, even. Okay. All right. Shall we get ready to head to, to the plains? Yep. Okay, just grab as much wood as we can carry with us.
Yeah, we, again, we have a lot of logs we can cut down, down out there already. Okay. So I grabbed well a stack of hardwood as well. So I will go over there mm. and cut it up so we get that cleaned up. Oh boy. Yeah, heal there. Okay. Glacier Boy is bringing stone along. <clears throat> Intruders. Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah, the logs are still here. And the stumps. So yeah, we clean up uh, the mess Hillian made uh, last time we were here. It says, why cut down new trees when there are already trees laying down? Okay. Just grabbing some berries along the way. Yeah, I thought there was more. All right. Yeah, that's me full on on weight already. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay. Let's look for a decent spot. Mushrooms, so we grab those. We may need those more, more wolf kebab. Okay. Now to the plains up here. This is not far. And let's take a look on the terrain. What type of terrain we have to work with? Uh, hello. Uh, rather foggy over here. Yep, yep. Okay, mosquitoes. some good news. Hmm? I found something we can take over, and I found a good source of stone. <laughs> the massive pillar. I. <laughs> Yes, you can break those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, either we build it need it on top of this hill, this probably will be easiest, or on top of this part where we have the a tower already we can take over. And it, apparently actually, there's a, a village here. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I need help, I need help, I need help, I need help, I need help. Hey, did you take off the locks? Two star fooling! Yeah. Next point! <laughs> okay, I come here, you. Different. Now I know why it was red! And now the locks are also ticked off. Already chaos! There's a tower over here. Yeah, that's the tower I spoke of we could build by. I do, and that's most of my health gone in one hit. Okay, I thought you meant the big fucking pillar. Yeah, yeah the pillar for a source of stone. <laughs> okay, good thing that I got that much <laughs> stamina from the food and all. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay. At least the locks Sneakle. are split off from the fooling. Alright, they cannot climb rock. I'm safe! <laughs> hmm. Now that I think about it, would it just would it be a decent idea to put up a, a small spot on top of a rock with uh, high enough walls to block line of sight? Uh, not really, for they could break this rock if they stand too close to it and stomp. Okay, well, I've meant more for the foolings. Like if they if they can't see you, they don't start attacking. I believe. Uh, they will attack you anyway, for they will see you one way or another, those little buggers. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. The, the locks is giving each other piggyback right to try to reach us. <laughs> okay, this I have to see. They just got off each other, but yeah, sometimes you may see locks on top of another locks. I think that's called mating season. 
Yeah, people are joked at. And okay, the Luxes are leaving us alone now, so we can focus on the red fooling. Only known to us that these two star ones are red. And yeah, because red goes faster, of course. As you said, it's not running. Okay, I can hear multiple of them. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think one of the Loxes is fighting the Foolings. It, they don't do that, but it, I think it may accidentally break the house. But yeah, we could build here, or we can steal the village over there. Yeah. Village or tower, which do you mean because the village is a bit more? Uh, there's a village over there. But we have a village uh, yeah. nearby. And yeah, I tower. spotted that one earlier. Uh, yeah, we could probably try and raid that place, or at least steal whatever plans they have. Yeah, no, actually, I think about it. Let's build. We could try and build here, for it's on a hill. As it, these at least have one defended side. And we will basically just need a house for the portal and walls to defend the crops. Okay. And this looks like big enough area to defend us, and this rock could sort of defend us. We could use it as a retreat point. Yeah. <laughs> That's for certain. And the Loxus put made some trees for us. How nice. Okay, I can oh, hear yeah, more this is what The uh, broke a little bit here. A lot over here, more. Yep, fooling with torch. I thought I just spotted something over the horizon, but no. Swap. Okay, now I'm sure if I'm gonna build here, for I feel like we are a bit too close to the intersection for, for several biomes. They should have fixed that problem, but I could still... I think you may, if you remember, he'll... Uh, well, like we played with another friend of mine, that he repeatedly crushed us. Yep, another fooling. Yep, ow, another two-star. Or is it the same two star for the one we were fighting right away? It's the same two star. Well, there I go, my skills. <clears throat> but yeah, probably better to move away, <laughs> getting a restraining order. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah. We should probably only put down a portal once we've basically set up a, a safe you know, little place already, because otherwise they're just going to destroy that. Yeah, but yeah, let's not build it by the tower for. I feel like it's a bit too close for intersections. So let's build between the tower, the pillar, and the village. Oh, it's nice and sort of evenish here. Okay. Oh, he dropped a lot of black metal, I see now. Yeah, since the more stars they have, the more they drop, and we already have a times two multiplier on that anyways. Yeah, so those ones will be worth a lot. <laughs> oh, so the foolings in the tower are stuck because I accidentally smashed one of the stairs. I am not surprised. Ah, huh, there's a hidden boulder here we could break, though it will probably cause a lot of issues for us. And, oh yes, definitely here, so we will be getting free cloud berries as part of our farm. Here we go, just grabbed all the metal. Yep, 
Okay. Just hope it's not too close to the village. Since more I can already see one sure big one uh, stomping around. Yeah, more reason to make sure we have good walls. And the villagers don't respond luckily enough. So once we killed it, we should be safe. Okay, so similar to the Draugr villages. Indeed, uh, though in that case you need to just make sure you kill the spawners. Yeah, okay, Glacier Boy needs to step away for a bit. Alright. Uh, let's see. Where are the palisades again on this? Palisades? Up there. What? Stake wall. No! Yep, fooling incoming. Vinny Stone! He's already hurt. Is just a regular lucky enough? Yeah, he's not going to be a regular visitor at least. It, it looks like we were about to play ping pong with him. <laughs> okay, going to put up a quick chest. Just for putting stuff into. Yeah, raising the ground like this will probably give us some protection since, yeah, it, they still need to start having to walk around. Okay. <laughs> nope, visitor. Oh, I can right, actually see two slowly, big ones. As I said, it is slowly tinkle out the smaller ones like that. It should make it easy to fight the big ones. Okay. Nope, spear thrower. Oh, those can be annoying. Do you save against them with root armor as long as you have the chest piece? Actually, it would probably be safer for us if we just excavate all around, so they can't even walk up, but we just need to jump over to get in and out. We did that you with mean, one of our uh, little harbor outposts at one point. You mean like, you see like this side here? I don't think yeah, they can walk up this. Okay, but They'd yeah, probably basically like just... a moat. Yeah, could probably do a moat. Do more when we know how big we want this. Now, I'd say the primary function would just be to farm... Flax and barley? Yeah. True, and we have the wool again. We get more drop. So I guess we are in a decent size, just trying to need to even this out a little bit. Then we can make some stone walls. And we get cloudberries as well. Yep. Okay, are we actually going to try and break the big pillar then? Or leave it until we've exhausted the stone that we have already? I say we might as well, for I'm already out of stone that I had. Okay. I'm getting some from just digging around, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, leave one side on dogs, as it would make it easier for us to have a stair up. As long as it makes it harder for, that they have to struggle to go around, it gives us an advantage. Okay. Especially if we, if we can stand on top of the wall and shoot them. Let's see, this way faces away, so I think we can leave this mostly intact. Yeah, that's the side we have, uh, we can just run to Hildur as well. Okay. So yeah, here I feel like we have a good farm. 
so yeah, this way we can just race a little bit more and have the house and the stairs. Should probably get rid of this rock. Uh, leave that alone. Oh, <laughs> too late. <laughs> it's a big rock. Yeah, but you just need to get rid of the top of it so we can use it for farmland. And I'd say we don't actually need that big of a house. Indeed, I'm thinking of something it's... small, something that at least can have a, some beds and stuff. Incoming! Yeah, ew, big one. They heard us dig the rock. Yeah. Oh yeah. Need more enemies... an outpost than anything else. Yeah, and yeah, enemies can hear you, which means you can sneak around and lure them around and trick them. But also means if you're mining and you want to like grave wolves keep attacking you, that's why. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's at least some throwers. <laughs> Laser Boy is going to be uh, surprised when he logs back in on this. Oh, there's a one star with them here. Yep, I see them. Yep. Spear caught me there, I think. How did that one not get alerted already? Okay, I'll I'll go after the spear ones. Now, <laughs> welcome, Black Gazer Boy. We're just getting raided by furlings. Those firing! No, stay with the rock. Helion attracted the horde. <laughs> You're the spear thrower. It's a one star. You biggin. And too bad they don't hey. have friendly fire. And I will make so many things and, easier. What hit me? Okay, one thrower gone. Yeah. Frostnor works good. They're not vegan as Frostnor, but have them get knocked back. Get the yeah, the knockback and have them being thrown, it's chilled down, slowed down from it. And being multiple people, that will become a sudden advantage. Yeah, they should not bring him over to the Cloudberries. Yep, ah, of course. <laughs> I got a bit too greedy there. You can parry them, just not their special move. Mm, yeah. Okay. It seems one of them broke enough of the rock for get us more stone. How nice. Yeah, that, that was me. That was me digging around. All right. Hence why they came over. He heard the sound. Okay. At least no freaking shamans came out. If I didn't act... I know I... I know I managed to assassinate the shaman of one of the villages. But not sure if it was this one. I think it was the one more to the east. Okay. Of course, everything is covered in fog. <laughs> in fog. But yeah. Definitely the stone wall first. Then a little house. And now the great wolves join in. <laughs> Just everyone wants a piece today, huh? Yeah, no, he'll make somewhat of a moat, which will be useful. 
I still want to it could be good if we to go all around, but will we leave one side unmoted for now? Okay, this Boris is really intended on <laughs> biting my ass. Yeah, they are stubborn. Most enemies you can run away and they give up, but Boris? I think they give up eventually even? as well, but they take a while as well. Yeah, enough. Oh, oh that's what there's a hole under the stone. <laughs> because of the Glacier Boy. Yeah, I was wondering, wait, what is a hole under this pillar? I thought we suddenly someone broke the map. Okay, you can hear more laughing. Root. And a fooling. You told them a dad joke? No wonder they're pissed. <laughs> okay, very oblivious fooling. Not near those. Oh, that's a bad yoke. <laughs> the visitors. Okay, that's one of them gone. Oh. At least we're getting more uh, black metal. Yep. Good. Okay, this is going to be something when this breaks. Oh, we've done this before. <laughs> and I think the plans failed a little bit. Because it is completely free-floating now. Yeah, I don't know... They may have patched this, uh... Oh, how... Full weight. There they go, wait. There it goes. <laughs> it's raining rocks! Okay, I was about to say, if they don't topple that easily, we might just put something on top of one. Wait, did they destroy the workbench? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Yep, yeah, now we have a new one. Hmm. I think I see only a little bit more movement in the village. You could take the village over otherwise. Uh, wait, there's more than the village? Okay, that village is a bit really poor there. I can see the big one over there as well. Yeah, there's multiple villages nearby. Okay, where's that mosquito? Up there. Shoot wall! Really? <laughs> Just to peacefully negotiate with them without using our... <laughs> I think the mosquito took offense to that, Glacier Boy. There we go. And he hit him with a two-handed axe. That's skill. That is skill. Okay, right. there, there's one more brute in there. That means that there's a there were three over here. Ow. Okay. We need some iron so we can make this stone cutter. Okay. So a little so bit of stone sticking out. Okay. 
It... Uh, what did you say about villages not respawning because there's a big ass horde of them coming over? I think what we had att attacked us was a night patrol, you know, night spawn. Yeah. But they are coming over! <laughs> oh yeah, they walk. They heard us mine and work, hence why they're coming over. And they can get up that ramp. So much for that, huh? Uh, this it needs to be higher and definitely a moat on that side. Okay, I'm going after the spear once. Okay, there's at least one one star here. I see them. Where's the big guy? Yeah, where did the big guy go? Yeah, that, that, that concerns me. Where did they go? What? There we go. Did you almost kill them already? Or did they walk back or something? I see that there's a one in the village still. Yeah, it looked like one was walking over here. Did he just walk back? <laughs> I that guess was it wasn't Joker. interested. Okay. We had oh more cloudberries here. Uh should we be greedy and expand over here? There's another rock here. Fucking mosquitoes. I always forget about them right up until they attack again. Ah, uh, that's mosquitoes for you. And they got Glacier Boy. I'm the only one who haven't died in this episode yet. Yep. Okay. Grabbing the loot. Yeah, I'm gonna expand so we get this as well. But that should probably be. Oh, am I getting greedy for trying to get that, that those cloud berries as well? Probably. Okay, another rock to get rid of, or I just dig off the corner here. Okay, doesn't look like that's going to make it. Is they're going to be up able to scale that r ledge? Okay, we have a plenty of these cloud bases here, so it should be fine. Okay. It don't I hope you can't up that. You didn't Incoming. into what we've been trying to raise here. More? Yep. Oh, come on, you just flattened out the hill I was making. Oh, you were cut into the hill we need for space! <laughs> yeah, and now you invited them all back <laughs> in. And the big guy's... the big guy pissed off again. <laughs> and we get a lot of black metal and gold from this. Do we are uh, not short on gold?
<laughs> they didn't know these could actually get damaged. Or they can. Right, I'm gonna go and run and... Oh, all right. They... Okay. I thought we, they were gone for some reason. Right, I'm gonna run back and grab some uh, uh, iron bar. Okay. Then we can start making the walls. I think this might actually be better just raising up the ground with the stone. That should be too sharp for them to climb. Yeah, it should uh, hopefully. And the walls, we be, stone walls we're building will be added uh, protection. Okay. <laughs> yeah, blocks and berserks are one of the problems. Hence the stone wall, and probably why uh, actually a moat would be a good idea. And I do hope we can tame the Luxus. Yeah, it would be nice to have some actual mounts and such. Yeah, I had tamed it oh. before. Probably there is a shaman here. Oh, of course they are. But one of the problems with them is that you, you can't get them on a boat, I guess. Probably is. If you do run into a sea serpent or another hostile mob, they will try and likely succeed in jumping ship and go after it. A looks in the sea with the saddle is no fun. <laughs> yeah, all of that fur would quite weigh it down. Yeah, that means you wasted about 45 minutes teaming yep. it. Flax. Grabbing all of it. Yep, and the, the shaman just fireballed its own hut. I am somehow not surprised. And the big guy actually hasn't noticed at all. Likely for the best. <laughs> oh, I don't feel anything proud of us. We have defeated Mother on the very first yep. hour. And there's another shaman with the berserker. Uh, I'm not surprised. And the first one is, is dead, though. I said the boss name, I went to the wrong portal. <laughs> yeah, probably best to take out the support first. And that was a mistake. Okay, that probably would have clubbed my head in if I was on higher ground. Okay, Shaman's gone. Looting all of their stuff. Ew, I need a drink. Uh, Probably one of we should have just made it closer to the border of the this biome. Well, if if they don't respawn, we can just turn the entire area here into farmlands. Uh, true. And also, when I look in here, I can see that this place is a bit bumpy. Do I even want to risk? No, I don't. I don't want to risk parrying it. At least he's the only one left. Probably a good idea if I swap ammo to the one that's actually decently damaging. Oop. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was trying to sneak in on behind it whilst it was focused on Glacier Boy. And then it turned right around. Yeah, they get dangerous when you underestimate them. Okay. And I used up most of my food so far. So, there. Okay. Won't be as good, but it'd be better than nothing. Hmm. There you go, raising the ground inside this as well. I always keep turning to the left here for some reason. Okay. Now, which is. Actually, that's the one current. Yep, more berries. Okay, and Glacier Boy is down. Wait, what did I say? Wolves! Hey. <laughs> He didn't get attacked by wolves, he, that was from way earlier. Since this chat here doesn't have uh, timestamps. Oh, right. And they probably also said it in the regular S. For, is, is he, if you use S in chat here, it has a very short range. Which is why we, even when they, sometimes we end up using the yell a lot. Okay. Let's see. Get rid of these stupid berries. Ah, there you are. Let's see. Can I get you with. Yep. <laughs> I killed it with a sneak attack. Okay, give me your stuff. And I'll take the totem. More freaking berries. Carrying too much. Okay, let me dump some stone. Okay, yeah, we've cleared this place out. bit more here. Okay. <laughs> okay, just turning this place into a full-on castle, huh? I'm not taking risks. Let's see. Oh, I guess due to the height, we don't need it this big. So, yeah, we think about. Yeah, I also started to raise the ground higher in here just so you have even ground. Okay. Also, I <laughs> using the stone at the same time. Oh, yeah, here we need to fill up. I meant the other oh. corner. Hmm. Uh. Oh, not that. There. Okay, give me some of that. Okay. 
Okay, that's a bit high maybe, but I will. How did I do it on this side? Alright. Uh, check. Alright, let's see. What's going on, Glazier boy? It might be a semi struggle with the ground. This can be a struggle at times. Actually, we can probably have this side stay somewhat flat or a lot less steep as an entrance. Yeah, probably a good idea. Otherwise, it'd be one of those places we only get into through portals. Which actually wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Mosquito. I might start moving. And I don't want to hit the locks accidentally. I we, we, we could have tried to tame the locks in meanwhile. But to, to the screen time is probably too late. Yeah. For it takes about 45 minutes and you still need to stay with them spawned in to tame them, so... Yeah. None of words. Okay. And these doors are more here for a crude bit. We can lock them in where we can connect them to the wall pieces when those once those are lined up. Okay. Uh, let's see, we still have half an hour, so I'm going to rush over and grab the harvester so we can actually turn this into farmland. And I think yeah, I think we should just make a, put a portal up, emit turn everything into farmland, and basically leave it at that. Maybe put in a, a roofed bit for sleeping and such. But beyond yeah. that, I don't think we really need anything else there. Okay, back to the good music. Actually, I could probably just move this portal, though it would be more of a walk towards Hildir. Actually, then, uh, yeah, leave that alone then, for if we're entering this place with portal, then we're not able to reach Hildir. Yeah. So, yeah, it might actually be good to have her there as a safe backup. 
if something somehow happened. Okay, we will need more wood though, or we need to repurpose one of the other portals. Oh, we have we have some uh, wood over here still. Though, oh, yeah, you, need, you need fine wood. Yeah, fine wood is kind of the big uh, choke point with a lot of stuff like this, huh? Yeah, it usually is. Okay, harvester. Let's see. Do we have some? Um, Actually, it's it's the planes. Oh yeah, we me in Christmas somehow made wall within a wall. <laughs> okay, wallception. Yeah, and I think it was accidental, but we were to place a wall down at the same time. Let's see, if I just grab some normal wood and coal, we even have coal left. Uh, there should be, if I, uh, I left the home uh, by making some. Oh, no, we're too far. I can put up some signs with uh, portal codes on them. Okay, wall done. Now to raise and fix the damn ground. At least some of it. Okay, let's see. We have merchants. We have M2. We have mountain. A swamp. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn one of these into a farm one at the moment. And then we can just build one over there. A, a portal over there. Didn't I just see five in one of these earlier? Hmm. Okay, we might be one short from making a portal. So I think I'll just break one down then. In uh, what material? Uh, a core. I put some core in one of the boxes you have the eggs in. Yeah, okay, there we go, okay. For, that was from the leftover kiln. And then... Great Dwarf Eyes, we need 20 of those, I believe. Let me double check. Oh, uh, I brought with me smelted black iron bars by mistake. <laughs> Okay, only ten. Okay. And whatever fine wood we have. Get out. Shoot. Okay, we'll just need to find some uh, some trees in the plains. That one. Uh, okay, that's what I was hearing. A bunch of skeletons teaming up on a great wharf. 
Okay. There's more dead mosquitoes around. That's the pit from the pillar. <laughs> hmm. Another Desquito next to the locks. Okay. Yep, not enough resin for a torch. There. Okay, I can hear furling. Okay. Furling, I'll go deal with them. All right. Yep, they're running away. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll go look for some trees to cut down. Mm, yep. We probably should start just a, a beach farm. If, if I remember if that's correct with the... Uh, the fine wood, the primary fine wood one. <laughs> and I'm just going to burn their totem on their own <laughs> on their own uh, bonfire. Okay, where's the trees? Just seeing a bunch of saplings around. And I think there was a tar pit somewhere around here. At least I thought there was. Ah, there's the trees. Okay, be careful that I don't run into anything nasty along the way. Okay. Yep. Just as I'm about to start hacking away a fooling. Okay, that's not a tar pit, that's just shallow water. And, okay, birch is the one, not beach. Isn't that the starter of <laughs> starting woods? Oh, well. Come here, you. Okay, they're much easier to deal with when it's not just an entire gang of them. Yeah. It's, it, they are easy one-on-one, -on -one, unless they are extremely high level and you're very poorly geared. But once you have a gang of them, yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, you better try and climb a tree. Sadly, you can't do that in this game. Okay, if I can get us some seeds from these, we'll be able to put them up next to the farm as well. Uh, let's see, that's all the stone, yeah, all the wood that's needed. But I'll go for more because we keep running low on this stuff. Hmm. 
Uh, right now I know where I think that carpet was. It's more to the west of me now. Just hit upon a bit of an idea. Uh oh. Yeah, just storing the normal wood away in a stack, as in this replaceable stack, so I can carry along more fine wood. So, next time we come here for woods, well, we already have a stack ready to go. That should be a good idea. Why am I going to do that even? Yeah, let's see how many seeds. Only three so far still. Okay, I think that'll have to do. Thought I saw a furling for a moment, but no. No. Some more loxes over here. And... Yeah. A little shrine that I'd already raided. Okay, heading back. All right. Let's see. We're at 47... Nope. <laughs> 97 fine wood. So we should be good with that for a bit. Mosquito, avoid. Hmm. I wonder if someone has tried to play through the game start to finish with the stealth gears instead of uh, more combat stuff or more direct combat stuff. I see in someone demonstrate you can do that very stealthily and actually trick a skeleton look to on the other side of a house, try to look for you. But not many I know have done it. Yeah, because you typically need other players for distractions. Yeah, if you can do it as easy on solo, we're probably, but the problem is... It may take a while to get a hang of it. And yeah. where is Glacier Boy? I, yep, they jumped back. For a second I thought they disconnected again. Uh, you're still here, Glacier Boy? I know they said Loxus made them nervous. Oh, they're... They're on the main base at the moment. Yeah. Might need a little step there. And there we go. No, then. Oh, they're, they're just planning. All right, all right. Obligatory ornaments. Okay. There, face these into each other for... <laughs> Quantum storage. Okay. <clears throat> Are we going to raise this bit up here or it's actually linked? To... Let's try to smoothen it out or put a stone stair. Actually. Yeah, if we can put a stone stair here, 
and smoothing out a little bit nicer, it could be just fine here like this. Okay. There we go. And I'll just get started at cultivating all of this. Probably dig into this little raised bit or try and smooth it down. Actually, what happens if I. Okay, that also has the smoothening effect. Then cultivate this as well. Do you know if cultivated ground has any effect on berry bushes? Maybe not on them. Okay. Cultivate the edges a bit. Okay. Then let me grab some of this. Not the barley, the flax. Okay. this in a grid, make sure it all has enough space. Probably more space than it needs, but there will. nearby. But there is one nearby. Near the tower. Uh, closer than that. Okay, and that's all of her flax planted. Okay. Don't think we have a need for this one here at the moment. Okay, still got plenty of space for more. Okay, but for now we'll just have to wait. Also going to plant the tree seeds that I got. And they're far enough away that they don't risk falling onto the walls. Okay, appear to be running low on food items. Okay. Oh, one bit here like that's unhealthy. Me, I'm not surprised. 
I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, that destroyed it. Okay. Well, that's only one loss. Okay. <laughs> nice little launch. Mm. It's a very nice little launch. All right. Then let's see. I think I'm just going to grab the stuff in these boxes here and bring it back. <clears throat> and yeah, then, <laughs> then it's mostly just going to be a waiting game until we can, uh, yeah, make our next year. Let's see, did this make some already? Okay, if it has, someone has put it away already. I hear angry locks outside. Who angered it? I didn't get close to them, or shouldn't have have. Or shouldn't have been close enough. Apparently it was Glacier Boy who angered it. Okay, then he can also deal with it. <laughs> okay, no stacks in there, or new extra stacks. away for the moment. Just stick with the old arrows. Okay. <clears throat> Wood that needs to be put away. Foods. All that needs to go back here. Actually, let me grab those. Could we use the blast furnace to smelt the other metals, or is it just for black metal? Just for black metal for now, but hopefully it may be useful in the next update for other metals as well. Okay, because it does it does make it easier to put stuff into it. Yeah, I kind of sad you can't use all the metals inside it. For it would make sense to do so. And we're out of normal mushrooms, it seems, or as good as taking that out of there. So many onions and barley. Okay, meat locker. Yeah, it looks a little bit wonky in some spots, but eh, this will do. It's functional at least. Uh, uh, hello there, one stairs. How are you doing today? I only plant the flax. Oh dear. <laughs> Holy dear. Oh no! <laughs> what, invoking the uh, SCP now? Uh. That, Helian, oh, you're not here! Uh, over there, really? Smell of sulfur in the air! No, oh, so. Fire <laughs> elementals! Turtlings! <laughs> yeah, no, not fooling, uh, the. Circling volunteers. Okay.
Oh, this is actually good since we're well, <laughs> since we're a bit short on these. Uh, let's see. Good. I still remember the Jurassic World 2 stream. Yeah, that was a bit. Yeah, that, that was a bit back on uh, Sat. Not Saturday. Sunday. But yeah, that's far from the only game we stream. That ow! I step out and immediately get fireballed in the ass. I can't use their tr heads as fish bait to make hot bait. Okay. I guess you can fish by the. Oh, oh yeah, they are taking the locks. Locks is very angry. <laughs> also very toasty. And it's bringing the tower down. Yep. There's two sirdlings stuck in a hole here. I found 45 code from these bastards so far. But yeah, yeah the locks is bringing down the tower. He just made a hole in the tower! <laughs> you got to see this hill! Okay, I'll get back once I... Once I see another Sirtling get nuked by a mosquito. Uh, it... <laughs> the Sirtling is, is, is uh, enraging it towards our base, almost. You. Yeah. Smell is fading, smell finally. And the Sirtlings, yeah, the Sirtlings are, are trying to fight the Deskito and they actually won. They <laughs> managed to land a hit. Okay, I need to be real careful with my health here. Give me these. Well, we got put Sirtling cores and a lot of coal. No, what's going on, Glacier Boy? Glacier Boy, Glacier Boy, Glacier Boy. We don't need to censor that. that. Uh, uh, one by eight. Down here, please. Yeah, once I've <laughs> stopped dancing with the circlings. There. I know we have one stone fueling here. Okay. No, they, they are harder hit with arrows once they are start moving. <laughs> okay, but yeah, how are you doing today, monsters? <clears throat> there we are, creeping in uh, towards the end of the stream. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Is it keeping you hostage or something? Is it trying to burn down <laughs> your well, private they, collection they, 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 of they, 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 comics? He looks earlier. Okay, at least it comes pre-roasted. And there's also a, a dead deer here. Uh, let's see. I can't see. carry much more. If we throw away this head. There we go. Some more venison. I'm not sure if I've ever eaten venison. Maybe once during Christmas. Yeah. Uh, go over here, Hill. This is what the locks did. <laughs> yeah. It went, uh, <laughs> it went full uh, Kool-Aid man uh, with more fur. Actually, now that we have some extra circling cores, yep. we kind of need a place now. Hmm? So I gonna yep. fix Door. that somehow. There's more foolings around, and we don't want them running in here to destroy everything. So much black metal! Uh, and we sort of solved our coal problem by this as well. Unexpectedly. Here we go. Now, where is... Ah. Okay, we... Okay, need some ancient bark and such. You little! <laughs> One of them hid behind the door and waited for me! <laughs> okay, we'll have to call it though because it's dinner time here. Alright, uh, then I guess we will get back to the base. Yeah. 
And... Yeah, I, I think I'll just pick someone to raid. Okay, there and there. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, oh a circling trophy. Throw that out quickly for the moment. Uh, okay. Uh, you two log off if you want. I'll just put up one more little thing over here at the farm so it's a bit easier to find. <laughs> or at least easier right. to find when it's all uh, foggy out like it is now. Yeah, some torches. Yeah, moment. There we go. Uh, any spare wood around here? Uh, none I want to actually burn. Okay. Hmm. Well then, that, that was a that was a stream with a lot of progress in it. Yeah. <laughs> Clear out a village, beat motor, and well, we got a farm running, <laughs> a protected farm at that. Okay. So, let's move on over here then, and let's have a look at who, at everyone who is online. Uh, let's see. There. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, K9 with Lethal Company, Jironki with The Lost Fate. Uh, oh, Dugga Dug McDog, uh, Dugga Douglas McDog is playing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, which version right. is that? Let's see, and of course there's a freaking ad. Uh, that looks like the PlayStation version, or maybe the PC version. I, I quite enjoyed the first few Harry Potter games, though the last few went uh, downhill with things. Okay, let's give them a raid then. Okay. <clears throat> Copy the name. Head to our place, slash raid and paste. But before we start with that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Monsters, for showing up, even if it was just, uh, just as we were closing off. And of course, thank you, Glacier Boy and Rakir, for joining me for this. You're most welcome, my friend. And thank you, Glacier Boy, for joining once more. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And let's see, tomorrow we'll get started with our first console stream through an emulator, because I don't have a Dreamcast. And uh, yeah, we'll get started on some of these Sonic Adventure games. <clears throat> but for now, Yeep. let's get it right started. Uh, oh, wait, they changed things to follower, subscriber only in the chats. Uh, typically try to avoid that. Um... Let's see... Yeah, let's, let's leave it without, without a raid then today, since I have to rush up anyways. Um, <clears throat> okay then. Uh, thank you, any, thank, you everyone who have, thank you everyone who has been watching uh, now or later uh, again. And yeah, <laughs> until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. And furlings. And <laughs>